Wait, is the... No, I'm not losing frames or anything. Is it getting all, all shitty looking? I'm sure we'll see weird ones later. Uh, what's the prognosis? We can't lose, we can't lose our sister, for sure. I don't like the sound of that. Don't worry. It just means the process could take a bit longer than usual. Sam? My connection to Sarah's implant was suspended. However, her pulse, respiration and brain activity are all normal. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep her in a low-level coma for a while, then let her body regain consciousness naturally. She'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. Keep us updated. Lexi, you keep right. our sister I'll alive. I'll you at the door, whenever you're ready to go. How do you want to handle this? Keep them in the pod for now. I keep looking over and it. Is it missing frames and stuff over there for you guys, or is it all looking okay? I know I should go that way, but I'm exploring. <laughs> the fuck did you guys do? Oh wait, did you just get in? Still in stasis. Vitals look good. Another colonist here. Oh man, look at them all. They're everywhere. One minute I'm in the Milky Way getting ready to sleep, and the next, you're two million light years away. No joke, we really flew that far? We really did. Welcome to Andromeda. That's mental. Imagine if you did that though. They just put you into stasis. Engineering, this is Cryo Bay. We've got a pod that was damaged when we lost gravity. You'll probably want to send something over. Don't mourn a pod, you're fine. You're absolutely fine if nobody was in it, right? You fuckers are all stuck on the wall. Good on you. Engineering, be advised the sensor array has gone dark. Yeah, you get to bed, muffins. So, Who the hell's he's? It sounds amazing, doesn't it? Right up until you lose gravity. Okay, that's that's a freaky looking face. I dreamed about this my whole life. I sure hope it matches the brochure. Hi there. I'm Gian Garson, founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I'm here to welcome you to a whole new galaxy. The good news is, the hard part's over. We're here. If you have any questions now, just ask. I still need an update on our sensor array. Oh shit. We information board that talks to you. The Pathfinder is responsible for exploring and assessing new worlds for outpost placement and settlement. Each arc is led by a Pathfinder who represents their species. The active duty Pathfinder assigned to Arc Hyperion is Alec Ryder. Current duty roster shows you are assigned to the Pathfinder mission team, Specialist Ryder. We're getting reports that the water flow control is offline, awaiting further update. Your current location is Arc Hyperion, housing the human population. Ark Parjero, the Salarian vessel, confirmed departure in 2185. The Asari ship, Ark Lucinia, confirmed departure that same year, as did the Turian Ark Natanis, embarking in 2185. The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of ARCs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Once the Pathfinder team's assessment is complete, Habitat 7 has been selected as the most likely candidate for colonization. Nice. At present, Arc Hyperion has arrived in the Helios Cluster. Further mission updates are offline due to technical difficulties. As Recon Specialist, you are tasked with supporting the authentication of Golden World sites through exploration, mapping, and scientific analysis. Currently, you are to report for duty on the Command Bridge. 
The Andromeda Initiative encompasses all colonization efforts, including ARCs, Pathfinders, Outposts, and the Central Support Hub, the Nexus. The current location of the Nexus is unknown. Status of outposts are unknown. I'm Gian Garson, founder of the Initiative. I think it's important we take a moment to reflect on the principles that brought all of us together. It started with a vision of a better future. A vision that you shape. Life in Andromeda can be anything we dare to dream. And I'm proud to help make those dreams come true. Drop me a note sometime. I'd love to hear how we're doing. You're, you're dead. You're long dead. So what I don't get though is when did they send them out? Like was it way before the Reapers were even discovered or what? This one's still asleep. This line into the pod. Standard nutrient package. See how their system responds. Costa coffee? Did the world just turn upside down? Am I still dreaming? You left a nasty bump on your head. Let me take a look. First five minutes in Andromeda. I'm already crashing the car. Exactly, that's what I said. No, but I figured any scars could wait till we land. Well, no obvious contusions to your brain. Looks nice and pink. Wait, the cut's that deep? <laughs> Just kidding. Checking for a concussion. Your cognitive awareness seems okay. Ah, uh, right. Which get you degree, Doc? No need. Don't let anyone be a doctor around here. What? Good. Your auditory no, response seems normal to you. Hey, the doctor's got a sense of humor. You're my kind of guy. Attention, Hyperion personnel. After 600 years, the good news is we're exactly where we're supposed to be. We've arrived in the Helios Cluster, Andromeda Galaxy. The year 2819. All stasis medical personnel should report for just disease immediately. Give the Pathfinder mission team revival priority and prep its members for field recon. Reports of an unusual celestial phenomenon in the cluster are being investigated. Updates to follow. Captain Dun Dun Dun! No worries, Captain. Nice and pink. Go ahead to bed. Laters, lovelies. Good night, muffins. Sweet dreams. Have a nice sleep. Like what? Something big. The intermittent power energy is being reported in a lot to overload. Who's talking? On the bright side, nobody's eaten in 600 years. No projectile vomiting to worry about. Who the hell was to Oh, these two Fisher and you. Kirkland? Suit up and get ready to go. Same here. They tell you where we're going? No, just have the shuttles prepped to fly. Oh, these, these guys must be my Pathfinder guys then, because everybody that's awake right now, they're either med staff or the Pathfinders, right? What's going on with this dead man? It's not broken, it's just falling over. Jesus Christ, you don't need a toolbox to pick it up, you lazy arsehole. Hey, can we have that? Hey, traveler, and welcome to your first day on Andromeda. This is the dawn of a new era for us all. As you recover from stasis, know that you're in good hands. In a few short hours, you'll be leaving the Hyperion and joy joining thousands of your fellow colonists as you chase your fortunes and build a new life that you've always dreamed about. It's been a long wait, but I promise you, it will be worth it. It's not though, has it? It's not been a long wait. For these guys, they've just gone to sleep and woke up instantly. Or not woke up, as the case may be. Oh, you motherfucker, why? You run like cartoon characters. Up here! Whatever hit the arc fried everything. We have to balance the power loader and explode. But we don't know where the fault is. Ryder can find it. He has a scanner. Quick, Ryder, use it to locate the fault. Okay, how do I do that? I'll try to get readings on the second conduit. G scan. Hey, get on this one. I'll override the safeties. Oh, shit. There's no indication of a fault in this car. 
Relay 2C shows damage from a temperature spike. Found okay. it! Bad relay! I found Rider, it! Can you go reset it? But I don't know where the reset button is. Uh, maybe. That's cool though. All oh, right, reset here. Jesus, you're so lazy. There, it's reset. Do it. Rerouting the current now. It's working. God damn it, you guys kidding? That could have killed everybody. All you had to do is hit that reset. You guys need. Rider. Now we can get to the tram. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go to the tram. You guys are all fired, by the way. Fired, every single one of you. There's only three reset buttons. You could have hit them all, right? That was close. Just barely an Andromeda and we're already scrambling. Scrambling. Just fucking hit the button, God's sake. You guys are engineers. They woke you up first to look after the ship. You've crashed it. You almost blew up the cryogen pods. I want off of this place. Just give me my own crew and let me fucking get out of here. Report run 2819. Identify a QPAZ. Uh, 2185 is when we left. Lockdown confirmed 2185. Anomalous comm sensor readings. Ooh. How did we get anomalies? 300 years. Trajectory drift detected. Course corrected at the same time. Um, everything's green. Sense of fault. Oh, the repair failed. Trajectory confirmed. Destination confirmed. That's awesome. Proximity. We're all good. Everything's good. Oh, we can't find the other arcs at all. Sense of faults. Look, as soon as we come out of stasis, we fuck it up. The adventure begins. I'm sure your dad will see it that way. Yeah, maybe. Well, the go ahead and take us to the bridge. Hold on a second. Want to make sure none of you bastards are androids. Let's go. Hey guys, are you okay? The voices. I think if we go... I mean, it's good for me, but it's not good for you guys, because it's... Settings, audio. Narrow night mode. I think now it'll make it sound just as loud when we're far away. Why am I driving the bloody shuttle? The drama, yeah, exactly. The drama was real. Sparks, bang, whiz, wallop, radar, save us. Wait, get out of here. Push your own damn buttons. Helm control, report. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're what the fuck is captain. that? They won't last. Ask, radar, ask what it is. What's our position? Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Oh, it's Dad. How are you doing, Dad? Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other arcs, we proceed to our appointed golden world. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. It's space candy floss. It does look like it. Yum, 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 yum. Eat it! Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? You know what? I actually prefer to get down on the planet and then we can do stuff, but... It's not my ship to control, right? She is the captain. I think she gets the final word. Well, he might. This isn't about having the final word. Yes, sir. We're coming through. That better not oh be my sister. God. 
Oh no, it's Captain Dun Dun Dun! Golden World? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. Doesn't look very. Habitat 7 ish, does it? All of our long range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. It doesn't even look the same. We can't give up now. I mean, we've got to be logical in this situation. Look at it. It's fucked. Something's happened in the 600 years it took us to get here. Some shit went bad. She's right. It looks pretty dicey from here. Are we sure about those scans? It's a good question. Things can change. It's been 600 years. Sam. The energy from the phenomenon is dumping our senses. Planetary conditions are unknown. We're marooned. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. And if it's not? As Pathfinder, uh -huh. it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. Well. All right. Daddy, quick. home looks like All shit. Right, the rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet Fallen 30. Yes, sir. A stubborn one, isn't he? I wouldn't know. What do you mean you wouldn't know? It's your dad, right? Oh, maybe he's going to be like, I don't know. Never spent much time with his... Just give him a chance, all right, Captain Dun Dun Dun. He cares in his own way. Enough to give him a chance. I suppose you're right. He is our pathfinder. If this doesn't work out, we'll need him more than ever. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. He's dead. We're we know he's here. he's dead. He's got to be, because we're the king dingaling of this here pathfinding team. Tell you what, don't land in the scary My sister's black bit of death, Jesus. right? Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I guess it's in her blood. She beat me into the world by one minute. Couldn't wait to get started. Well, don't worry. I'm sure Sarah will pull through. When she does, she's gonna want stories. So, let's get out there and find her some. Right, you'll want to get your helmet. And maybe stop at the good luck rock before we go. Wait, the what? It's an old superstition of your dad's. Wait, we wouldn't know about our dad's superstition? I think we would. Yeah! Play the funky music! At least we can dance! Would you dance if I asked you to dance? Woo woo woo! Would you love and never look back? Um, we're going to have a look at the codex. We're not going to obviously dive into the codex all of the time, but we're going to check about some things. The vessel and transport and make exploration. Yeah, let's have a look. Ah, oh, Kyperion. We'll, we'll learn a little bit about the arc that we set sail on. Terms is the main vessel for carrying human settlers bound for Andromeda, named after the Greek myth mythological figure associated with knowledge. Hmm. Okay, it represents a breakthrough in intergalactic travel. Substantial money and resources were devoted to its construction, all privately funded by Jean Gra Garson? Jean Garson? No idea. And the Andromeda Initiative. Built to withstand the rigours of nearly 2.5 million light years voyage, the Hyperion is outfitted with ODSY. Okay, Odyssey Drives. Um, which allowed the ship to make a 600 year voyage safely at FTL speeds. It features enough stasis pods to accommodate approximately 20,000 crew. Uh, as part of the initial wave of departures under the command of Captain Nozomi Dun. Okay. So it doesn't say... I don't know what the, what the time frame was for the previous games. Where does it fall in the previous games? Technology, we have some exploration tools. We've got the scanners and the omni tools that we, we know about them. Cryogen. 
Yeah, how did we chart Andromeda, I suppose, is a good one. The Andromeda Galaxy, for, uh, we charted it for habitable, habitable planets. Presents a unique challenge. Observation is limited by light, given the Andromeda's distance. Any observations from the Milky Way are 2.5 million years out of date. Enough time for a planet to have altered irrevo irrevocably. Irrevocably? You can't, you can't turn the time back and unbreak the planet. Initial attempts to identify settlement sites were made by obtaining Asari astronomical surveys. Okay, running them through predictive models, but Garrison was unwilling to risk thousands of colonists without solid information. How do you get solid information then? We'll find out. Read on, young Padawan. Eventually, the initiative obtained promising data from an acquiring explorer who claimed to have found a Geth array on the fringes of the Perseus Vale. This array was supposed, supposedly built from three mass relays using sensors and combined relay corridors as, as a form of FTL telescope to observe dark space beyond the galactic rim. Why the Geth expended so much, ex, yeah, expended so much effort to study the dark space is not known. Maybe it is though. Maybe we now know it as they were looking for the Reapers. Because they were in dark space, right? Amongst the observation, blah, 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 the golden worlds. Okay, so the Geth actually helped us find planets that were habitable, which is kind of cool. Element Zero. We know that the old Ezo stuff, rare material known as Ezo, generates a field when subjected to an electrical current. Okay, great stuff. We go back. Planets locations. Arc species, yes! Oh wait, have we only got a Sari on here? Get out of town! Archaeological evidence shows the abundant Thesian resources, blah de blah de blah. A Sari have been made fundamental, blah de blah de blah. Okay, that face, that face is a bit manky, I'll give you that. Renowned for the long lifespan, biotic ability, and diplomatic nature, the Asari were one of the most influential species in the Milky Way. Asari explorers were the first to discover the immense Citadel station, and it was Asari who first proposed the creation of the Citadel Council, and the cultures and society and the biology. All we got is humans and Asaris on here? Get the shit out of it. Planets and locations, the Helios Cluster. Yeah, what is this crap? Upon arriving in the Helios Cluster, Ark Hyperion encountered a massive and extremely dangerous interstellar phenomenon that severely damages the Ark. Extending beyond the solar system, the phenomenon did not appear on any of our long-range surveys. It, is now, it now lies directly in the course. That's fine. It's too early to have a clear understanding of this phenomenon, which appears to be an energetic cloud of dense debris and bizarre and with this bizarre properties. Initial sensor readings are inconclusive since the phenomenon itself causes severe interference. So we've got no idea what the old candy floss is. Vulture Cross! Thank you very much for the follow, dude. Twitch needs to stop on following me. God damn your Twitch! Take it easy, Splats. Have a good day at work, buddy. Hey, Christ. How are you doing, bud? Uh, the Andromeda Galaxy. 2.5 uh, million light years away from the Milky Way. The Andromeda Galaxy is the largest galaxy in, local gr in the local group. Also categorized as M31. Andromeda is a spiral galaxy. Roughly 220,000... Yeah, 220,000 light years in diameter, containing approximately 1 trillion stars. Holy fuck, you're a big boy. Andromeda is roughly 14 satellite galaxies which orbit the galaxy, uh, galactic disk. Evidence shows the disturbance when one of the companion galaxies, M32, passes through Andromeda's spiral arm several million years ago. Okay. Wait. Um, the initiative, why Why was it done? The brainchild of the visionary billionaire Garson, the Andromeda Initiative, was conceived as Garson's personal dream and desire to improve, uh, to prove humanity's capabilities beyond the military power demonstrated in the First Contact War. So it was, it was after we met the Turians. The Turians was the First Contact War. So it was after we met them, um, after we got the the technology from Mars. Internal reports show the struggle that 
the early initiative faced. However, Garrison's personal stake and enthusiasm sustained the initiative until early 2180s, when after a sudden influx of investment and a new marketing strategy, the interest in the initiative grew afresh. Construction of the arts was completed rapidly thereafter and Andromeda Initiative officially launched in 2185. Um, do, 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 do. The Golden Worlds. There she is. You've got to be dead now, right? Unless you're here with us. The official launch. Yada yada. Oh shit! Okay, here we go. Now we get to actually learn about the people. I believe you can get it done. Get it done, Vulture! Born your elder twin by one minute. God, Sarah, get off your high horse. You're a minute older than me, you idiot. On the space station 2163, Sarah grew up surrounded by a multitude of alien species, cultures and histories. In her orientation interviews, she claims this sparked a fascination with science. With informal training aided by Alec Raider's N7 background. Oh, Dad was a fucking special agent. Kablamo! She joined the System Alliance military, which continued in its research for the Prothean technology after successful di discoveries on Mars. Initial assignment to peacekeeping duties. Sarah was approached to serve a support role in, uh, for these Prothean researches. She often describes the thrill of serving with scientists like Matthias Silva. Oh, we've heard of Silva. On the brink of the next great discovery. Um, Alec Oudad. Oh, he was dishonorably discharged due to his AI research. Internal memos show that it was also effectively ended Sarah's career, but Andromeda presented the kind of scientific frontiers that she had sought all her life. On arrival in Andromeda, Sarah's cryopod was damaged and her re uh, revival process interrupted. Lexi's doing her best um, to let her just wake up naturally. You can't really wake up from a 600 year sleep naturally, can you? What do you think so far? I've, I'm literally, all I've done is run up a couple of stairs, watch an intro, and now I'm in the codex, but it's got all the backstory that we ever want, right? So we can we can dig into this. I like the I like the the art style of it, honestly. It's got like this weird cartoony feel, and um, the the color the colors are really vibrant. I don't know if it's going to be like that the whole way through, but it it just feels like it's more colorful. Um, I can kind of see where people are coming with the animations and stuff, because the run animation is. Pretty janky. Not so much hours, but when you see an NPC running. Um But you know what? Like it's not detracting from it for me. The the face thing, at least from the faces that I've seen so far, I I just feel like that's people saying shit for the fact uh, just for the simple fact of saying it. Like I don't like this game, so the faces look like shit. Wait. They don't look like shit. Are they the best faces that I've ever seen in a game? No. Did they fit the art style though? Yes. So, I mean, what do you what do you want to do? Officially designated as the simulated adaptive matrix, the old Sam. I am an artificial intelligence that acts as a coordinating element between Pathfinder, Daddy, and the rest of his team. My quantum processing power is used to conduct on-the-spot uh, scans of alien worlds, assist in scientific study or tactical situations and monitor the team's weapons and equipment. I'm physically located in in the Ark, in a secure server bank collectively known as Sam Node. Hey, get back up there. Well, my primary connection is to Alec, aka Daddy, via a neural implant, I effectively serve as a mission computer for all of the team members during the pathfinding, Pathfinder operations. I also uh, collate 
and analyse data from numerous sources and compile it for later study. I am tasked with authoring and updating the Pathfinder Team Codex based on available information and discoveries that are made. Oh, you're the one that's writing all this? Good job, Ark. <laughs>